Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install mouse drivers on your Windows 10 computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing, if you actually had a DVD or a USB flash drive that came with the install files for your mouse, feel free to plug them in and install it that way. Otherwise, you can actually plug in your mouse and it should automatically install the drivers that way as well. And if that fails, you can go onto the internet and actually search up your specific mouse and then go on the manufacturer's website and actually download the utility to install the drivers. So that's another option you guys can explore there too. But in today's video, I'm just going to show you guys going through the device manager here, which is probably what I'd recommend if you didn't really have any other media and for some reason you're having some issues. So we're going to go ahead and try that method for today's video, but if you had a more specific mouse, you would just go ahead and Google it online. Again, there's thousands of different types of mouses out there. I don't want to go down any one particular rabbit hole in terms of just showing this whole video, but I just want to give you guys the idea of different things you can try, and Device Manager is certainly one of them. So we're just going to go ahead and open up Device Manager here. And we are going to locate mice and other pointing devices and go ahead and double click on that. Locate the main pointing device listed here, right click on it and select update driver. I would recommend trying to search automatically for drivers first, so go ahead and select that. And then you can also try searching for updated drivers through Windows Update, you're welcome to try that. Or if you want to go back here, you can select browse my computer for drivers and select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then just select whatever one seems most compatible meaning that if it has a specific manufacturer name in the driver name that's probably the one I'd recommend trying there may be generic ones here too but I recommend the one that has the manufacturer name in it and then select next give it a moment here it should say Windows has successfully updated your drivers and at this point you can close it here you will need to go restart your computer and that should hopefully be about it so as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.